underway a seawater treatment plant, undertaking to increase seawater injection capacity by 4.275 million barrels per calendar day, of which 2.375 million barrels per calendar day will be injected into Crace fields, and 1.9 million barrels per calendar day will be injected into 135 injection wells in Guar field. The seawater expansion project will provide seawater supply and injection facilities to maintain pressure in reservoirs while crude oil is being produced. Water injection is one of several measures taken to maximize reservoir recovery and therefore supports the corporate objective of managing and protecting the kingdom's resources. This project will support the treatment, supply, distribution, and injection of seawater during phase one of the proposed Corace area development and go or field production enhancement. Urea seawater treatment plant expansion will include new equipment in the intake system, nine treatment modules with a capacity of half a million barrels per day, and four shipping pumps with their control stations. A total of 4.5 million barrels per day will be transported to Corace and Garwar fields through new pipelines, Quad 2 and QUU4, while the electrical and process control system of the existing plant will be upgraded. Plant utilities including the poly, coagulant, hypochlorite generation units, plant air, raw water, potable water, nitrogen gas, and sulfur plants will be upgraded and or extended to support the new facilities. Moreover, the new administration building will be constructed adjacent to the Arabian Gulf. This building will be parallel to many other expansions inside the plant. Seawater will be drawn into the intake structure from the seawater intake channel through 65 pipes, each with a diameter of 48 inches, dosed with hypochlorite and passed through two existing plus one new set of bar and drum screens. The bar and drum screens remove trash and debris as small as 0.2 centimeters in diameter. Water will pass through vertical lift pumps that have a capacity of 2.4 million barrels per day each and then water is lifted through 54-inch discharge lines to the above-grade canal. The above-grade canal that acts as a reservoir will be extended during this project to its full design length. Excess seawater in the above-grade canal will overflow to the intake through overflow flume pipes. Each of the nine new treatment modules will have feed pumps that draw seawater from the above-grade canal and send it to four high-flow sand filters. Polyelectrolyte and coagulant are injected prior to the filters to enhance the filtration process while the hypochlorite is injected to kill the marine growth in the system. Treated water that has tight specifications, for example, total suspended solids of less than 0.2, is then sent to the deaerators where the dissolved oxygen is removed by injection of both nitrogen gas and sulfurous acid. Water with less than 10 parts per billion of the dissolved oxygen is sent to the discharge headers through the column bottom pumps. Biocide chemicals are injected at this stage to control the bacterial growth in the system. After that, water passes through the shipping pumps and the control stations to the water transmission pipelines. The Uthmaniya Water Supply Station is the cornerstone of all the southern area water injection facilities. 
A major part of this plant upgrade is to install a new combustion gas turbine with pump to boost the water pressure and deliver it to the Hawaii water injection plant. Moreover, the upgrade will include a new DCS system, air instrument system, new control room, 480 volt substation, and fuel gas pipeline. 2.36 million barrels per day of treated seawater is transported from the Gurea Seawater Treatment Plant to the Uthmaniya Water Supply Station via the 60-inch QUU-4 pipeline. The Uthmaniya Water Supply Station will deliver 4.51 million barrels per day to the Hawaii Water Injection Plant. Hawaii Water Injection Plant services two areas, namely Hawaii and Harad. While it injects water in the Hawaii area, it boosts the pressure in the Harad area. To inject 2.52 million barrels per day in the Hawaii field, this project will install an additional pump train with a capacity of 12,000 gallons per minute, upgrading the DCS system, install a new air system, and upgrade various existing booster pump components. The Hawaii Water Injection Plant will also pressurize 1.99 million barrels per day from 260 to 680 PSIG in order to transport the treated water to the Harad plant. The Harad Water Injection Facilities within the Harad GASP will handle the pressurized 1.99 million barrels coming from the Hawaii Water Injection Plant, then injected into the field using two new seawater injection pump trains with a capacity of 12,000 gallons per minute each. The final destination of treated seawater is to be injected in the ground with a pressure of 2500 PSIG. The Andar Water Injection Plant will undergo a major upgrade to support the new increment of water injection, such as a new control room, electrical substation, maintenance facility, new security gatehouse, fuel gas pipeline, instrument air compressor, and a new evaporation pond. The new plant configuration on the north side will support Gawar field production by installing a 19,500 gallon per minute combustion gas turbine driven pump train. The water injection plant will house a 13.8 kV substation, process interface building, instrument air system, fire water system, and team building and water injection facilities. To achieve 2850 PSIG for the 2.14 million barrels per day of treated seawater coming from the Andar water injection plant, the Curais water injection plant will utilize five turbine-driven injection pumps, each delivering a total of 12,500 gallons per minute to both Curais and Abu Jafan fields. The Abu Jafan substation is located 70 kilometers southwest of the Kores water injection plant. This substation will provide the power for the oil well's electrical submersible pumps, cathodic protection, and other uses in the Abu Jafan area.
The final destination of treated seawater is to be injected in the ground with a pressure of 2,500 PSIG. 2.14 million barrels per day will be injected in this field at this phase of development. The construction of the Crace Residential and Industrial Complex will support the development of the fields and will consist of the following facilities for 1,200 people. Seven Saudi Aramco residential buildings. A community center. Outdoor and indoor recreation facilities. Masala, an administration building, residential workshop and warehouse, an airstrip facility, as well as infrastructure roads to the highways connecting the facilities. Crace Crude Increment Program will provide 1.2 million barrels per calendar day of stabilized Arabian light -like crude blend from Grace, Abu Jufan, and Mazalish Field. Saudi Aramco's team vision is to bring a world-class facility into production, meeting applicable environmental standards, and to be recognized as best in class for quality, design, safety, and reliability.